Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to optimize your design for a Figma export. We're gonna use this page here to test. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates for new videos. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we have our export here, and if we go ahead and render as is, let's take a look at how it uh, basically exports, and then let's see how we can optimize this. Now, once you get your export, you can simply just extract in the location and you'll get your folder and you can navigate to it. Let's take a look. So we can see here that it rendered uh, pretty well, but not exactly as we expected. Uh, so what we can do is we can actually now begin to optimize a few elements here. So if we go back to our design, the first thing that we noticed was that uh, in essence, our text did not render exactly as is, and this is actually an error on our part. The problem is that uh, we're not actually reading the text spacing uh, in Figma, so we're going to fix this for the next update. But in essence, what you can do, because this actually looks like it's basically just the logo, uh, although it's not called that, we can simply just rename it to logo. And we can add an image tag. So this will render as an image. Now the next thing that we noticed was that some of the lines were not perfectly placed with our graphic. And to simply fix this, now unless you're going to animate each individual object, which if you were, then I would fully suggest that you ensure each line is exactly as you want or render it as a vector using SVG. And you can do that with customize. And if you scroll to customize, you can enable SVG. But for the purpose of this video, the fastest way to deal with this is that we know this entire element. It's basically just a main picture as it says. So let's actually just call it that with the image tag. And this will render this entire object as a single image, which is what we naturally expect in the output. Again, like I said, if you're animating this, then you have different options to export. Now we saw that our text, it rendered as is, but let's take a look at something here. Because we're using paragraph styles, you'll notice that uh, what we have is we have log in, but it ends directly uh, where the text ends. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically re-export. We're gonna take a look at the new version. Uh, let's actually call this new version. Now you'll see with V2 it rendered much better as we expected, uh, except you'll see that some of the text is missing here. And there's a very specific reason for this and a very quick fix. So if you notice that some of your text elements are missing, what you can do is simply return to your text layer in Figma, go to the end of the text and add a space to the end of your text layer. And what this will do if we render, let's call this V3. you'll notice that now it's corrected itself very quickly and easily. So there's a couple of things with this. Now we could go with this as is and begin to add uh, certain aspects that we're looking for, but we know that this is likely to be a button as well as this is likely to be a link. So let's go ahead and let's add these in Figma very quickly. So the first thing that we're gonna do is because we're not taking the entire element as a link, we're gonna have to remove login. So let's do that. Let's change the size of this element to more match uh, where we already have an account. And let's actually just go back into that. We wanna make sure that we're pasting uh, login very, fairly close. So now we have login, let's resize this. And let's put it relatively where it was before. Let's assume that's where it was. Uh, looks a little bit off. Okay, so what we have to do to create this as a link, let's take a look at the page it will likely go to, is it's likely going to go to sign in. Now with Export Kit, all spaces and special characters are converted to uh, underscore and everything is lowercase. So we can simply use that logic to add a quick link. So let's go to login. We're going to add a link tag. We're going to add it to sign in. And 
And there we go. What this will do is this will add a link tag to the sign in page once it's created. Now, this link could be to virtually anything that we want it to. Uh, we're just simply choosing another page that we have or another uh, frame within Figma, assuming that we're exporting all our frames at once, but we're actually just doing one for an example. So this will convert this to an actual button. And what we're going to need to do is for this as well, this is going to need to be a button. But we can tell that it's these two elements. So let's actually just group them and let's call it the sign up button. Now you cannot add a link directly to a folder. What you would have to do is you would actually have to use one of our class tags. And class, what this will do is this will allow you to add any native HTML class. What we're doing here is an anchor. I apologize, you have to use a pipe. And then after the anchor, we're going to add the properties of the actual uh, class, which is the anchor itself. So the properties, we're going to add a hair. And this would equal sign up. Now with this, you can add any property you like. Let's add a title. And what this will do is this will create a native HTML element based on what you've assigned after the pipe, which in this case we have an anchor, and we'll add the properties uh, dependent on the number of characters you have within your layer name. You'll see that we added uh, two properties here with the hair from the title, uh, but you can add as many as you like and also add any custom class. So this is how we would handle the entire button uh, with the output itself if we're using not a link it but with uh, actual class tag with the folder. So let's export this to test. Okay, so you can see here that now we have an actual anchor button. We haven't created the page, so we'll go to somewhere that does not exist. You'll see the title is there, and now we can actually also have an anchor button with the login based on our link tag and this is using our custom class tag now there are a few more things we could do to add rollover and uh, slash hover states and i'm going to cover this in another video but this is quick and easy steps that you can use to basically optimize your individual frames with your figma export and export kit